Hello people. It's time for another test, time for another review, time for another day. Today we're gonna compare the MGW versus the Umbrella Armory gun. A lot of you have been asking, so that's what we're gonna do. And maybe we're gonna drop in some upgrades in the MTW too, so but we will. So yeah, enjoy. I hope this will be a good video and be very informative. Hello people, so today we're going to compare the MGW to the Umbrella Armory um, Crytek and uh, I'm going to do it obviously with this and I'm going to do it in different tests like in 4-2, I'm going to do it in semi, I'm going to do it all kinds of different tests obviously but first I need to make sure that and the MGW is running the same amount of jewels since I know right now my, um, my MGW is running way more jewels than the, which is like 1.9 because I was testing some stuff and the archive is not it's 1.68 so yes and then after next video I'm gonna be putting this in or maybe the video today I don't know maybe it's gonna be two parts because uh, I don't want the video to be a uh, 500 uh, minutes long even though most of my videos are long as fuck <laughs> um, we're gonna be using no I'm not sponsored we're gonna be using Dragon Pro Bio BBs. It's a new brand, 0 0.36 grams. I don't use, I never use um, lightweight BBs in any of my airsoft weapons. Um, I always use heavyweight BBs. Heavyweight BBs will always give you the best result, almost no matter what gun you have. So. Yeah, obviously I'm gonna use the chronograph to test my weapon to see how hard they both are shooting. First, let's test the MCW. No, not the MCW. The, um, the Crytek, my umbrella armory. I have these batteries, and then I have this for my. I'm a big fan of Titan. Titan batteries are very nice, very nice. And I'm running this. Uh, Electro River um, 2000 milliampere LiPo 11.1 and it's a free one, free things. So it has a uh, loads of juice, loads of juice. Okay, let's put in the, the LiPo battery. Let's see here. I don't know what that meant. What did that mean? Let's see. That feels very nice, very snappy, very, very nice. Okay, so we're gonna be testing with the 0 36 gram babies. And then we're obviously using um, a chronograph. The Pro Chronograph, that's what it says. I don't know how pro it is, honestly. It was the cheapest one. <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna record with the phone because obviously, yes. All right, let's try to get the chronograph here. I literally, no matter what I do. Please let me get the jewels. That's not possible. Okay, it took a little bit longer for me to uh, 
to get the umbrella armory gun to what I want it to be in the hub. The hub is perfect now and it's shooting pretty fucking long. So that's nice. It's currently at, at how many joules was it? I just took a picture. One point four eight, one point six six without hop. I'm gonna compare it to my MTW. That's what we're gonna compare it to. So yes. Um. Let's see here. First, we need to fix the FPS. Uh, whatever jewels. I don't use FPS in them. We don't use FPS in Europe because uh, you Americans are still stuck. Some of you are still stuck in the old system. Don't be stuck. You're not a step bro. Step bro, I'm stuck in the FPS. Yeah, we know. Don't be stuck. Well. Gonna fine tune the MTW and then I'm gonna come back. So. Now. I've corrected the MTW. Oh, this is where I'm testing by the way. Number one hardball, very nice. I corrected my MTW. So, I had a miscommunication. I was planning to run the Crytek at 1.69 joules, by the way. And uh, then I said, 1.69 joules, can you please put it that? Julius from Berlin Armory and his text was like, yes, of course, no problem. Now I get it and I chrono it and it's only 1.48 joules. I'm like, wait, what's going on here? Then I write to him, he's like, yeah, we chrono without hop. I'm like, what the fuck? So in Denmark, we chrono with hop. So obviously it shows what you're actually shooting. Or like, I don't know how close I am. Like it obviously shows how far, like how hard I'm actually shooting. So yeah, that's kind of cringe. <laughs> Miscommunication. But there you see, as your umbrella armory said, Slash Julius said at the last event, Code Cracker, with uh, trying to learn the European market, and this is maybe one of the Danish quirks. So you know, now we know from now on. Anyway, so I'm gonna go put this thing up. How big is it? It's a hand size. I don't know. That's it. So as you see down there, that's a long way. I'm sitting up here. It's a long way down there. You're obviously gonna be able to see with the scope cam. I'm gonna put on the the the, the thing very soon. This is 45 meters. The reason why I'm testing 45 meters is because it's it's right there. Very nice. <laughs> I'm gonna put the camera towards me, I guess. Here, let me see if it's gonna be filming. Yeah, it's gonna be filming. Um, first, we're gonna shoot the MTW at the 45 meters. We're gonna do the shooting tests. And as I said before already, it's shooting. Okay, let's, let's uh, change this around. This is kind of annoying. It is shooting one, four, one point four eight joules, just like the umbrella armory gun. So same thing, same criteria. So so no gun is like cheating, yeah. It's all the same, kinda. There we go. Yeah, I have it set up so it's like I have <laughs> so professional. I have my stuff set up like so the thing is wired inside the vest, so it makes it a little bit easier when I have to do things like this. Uh, difficult. When I have to do things like this. Okay, let's uh, put on the go the scope cam. Let's make sure it's actually blinking. It's blinking. Okay, so first we're gonna be doing the 45 meters. I'm gonna try to shoot as accurate as possible. I would like to say today we have like zero to one meter per second, a minute per second. It's literally, there's literally no wind. So it's perfect conditions for shooting today. I have set up two um, 
things to, to hit targets, two targets, one for the MTW and one for the, um, the Crytek by Umbrella Armory. Let me shoot in here. Holy shit. I'll just shoot in real quick, sorry. Okay, so usually when I set up my hop, I set it for around 40 meters. Um, it just makes sense to me because that's kind of what my engagements are. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's shoot the first target. It's so long away, it's actually hard for me to see. Oh, that's a semi. Um, I don't know how many BBs there's left in the magazine. Um, it's kind of uneven. I don't know what's happening. Um, I'm running the Phoenix hop-up unit and it's usually really good. But like the last two or three times we've been out playing, it haven't been the best. Um, with green g and &E barking and then some, I don't remember. But yeah, it is, it is what it is. Let's see here, full auto. It's obviously empty. Now when we full auto, let's go full auto real quick. I have to aim down sight. Like I, when I shoot, when I'm shooting full auto, I have to aim down quite a lot. Like if I have my target here, I need to aim under it because. For some reason, it hops a lot when I'm full autoing. Um, but yeah, it's it's on semi. It's really good. That's also what I'm using for. It's with the nozzle and everything. It's the nozzle and everything is literally set up for semi. So if you can say that, like I haven't thought about consistency and everything in a full auto. So yeah, let's um, let's figure out what what is next. Okay, we're coming up to the target now. This is the target. Uh, this was a semi. This was full auto. They were all up here, like very, very high up for some reason. But I think it's because I haven't thought about consistency for full auto. But uh, for um, semi, this is how it looks. It's kind of decent. It's not bad. It's not a really tight grouping, but it's 1.48 joules with 0. 36 gram BBs, so I think that's kind of good. Let's compare it to an Umbrella Armory gun. I don't know why it stopped. It's fully powered, but it is what it is. Now try, as with the MCW, try to make it as accurate as possible. Now look here real quick. Just gonna look here real quick where it shoots. Gonna turn off a little hop. Okay, let me see, am I shot in? Kinda. Okay, let's say do this.
Oh man, this is it's kinda insane. Okay, so that's um, 45 meters. Let's do full auto real quick. Let's see how the spread is. Obviously this slides off. It's not a, I just got a new 3D printed thing. It wasn't made for this gun, so yes. Let's uh, see here real quick, full auto. Okay, I'm gonna try to hit the small icon, the small logo in the bottom that's called Yusk. One second, just need to see how long it's used. you know the barrel in the end I just shot that's 80 meters I mean it is what it is so this is the Wolverine, and this is the Wolverine before MCW that's there that's up there and there this is the Crytek by Umbrella Armory yeah it's literally just inside of the thing um, and there's also full auto so Yep. That's the results. Look at this beautiful day. Perfect weather for when I tested the weapons. So I'm gonna go home now and I'm gonna look at the footage and I'm gonna compare all the different uh, the different times I shot the MTW and um, the Crytek from Umbrella Armory and we're gonna see what performed best um, so yeah I did put I did upgrade my MCW today with the Umbrella Armory barrel and R hub and like the hop up unit everything um, but I'm gonna have to shoot that in then I'm gonna do a shooting test again when it's actually shot in because like I mean comparing to so comparing something oldish to something brand new something that's shot in and something that's not shot in is kind of you know it kind of hit me right in the middle of everything I was like hmm, that's pretty fucking dumb so when I've shot around a couple of thousand BBs four or five thousand BBs through it and it's used a little bit then I'm gonna actually make the video about like like the upgrade if it's worth it or not etc etc but now i'm gonna go home i'm gonna check the footage i'm gonna see what is best and i'm gonna talk about it when i get home and i can actually see it on the pc so okay guys um a lot of you mother freaking people has been asking me to compare these two guns together it's like can you compare the, the, the umbrella armory gun to the mtw well here you fucking have it i'm gonna do the comparison so um, enjoy it, and I love both weapons real quick, just saying. I love both weapons, both weapons is uh, fitting for two different things, I think. So yeah, make up your own mind with this video, I'm trying to be as, as unopinionated as possible, trying just to share pure facts, because obviously I'm playing for Team Umbrella Armory, like Umbrella United, I'm playing for them, like on the team. But my ma my channel has mainly been the MTW. So I'm gonna try to be as unaffected as possible and just show you the facts, like the numbers, because when you have an argument or when you're showing something also doing comparison, you're doing it from the statistics, 
and not from what your heart feels like. So take that into consideration. Hello people. So I'm home now, as you can see. Well, you don't know if this is my home, but this is my home. <laughs> um, and I've tested Umbrella Armory, um, Crytek LVOAS, and I have tested the MTW and I've compared them. Um, this is not the billet. I don't think that's what the first MTW was called. This is the first gen MTW, which is actually more cheap than the billet. The current price of the billet right now is $615. So if you're in Denmark, it's going to be way more than that because of all the import taxes and shit. Um, this gun is a 1,650 euro gun. So we are comparing two guns that's in that has a thousand dollars plus difference a uh, thousand euros difference in price um the mtw is upgraded with the phoenix hop unit and everything i'm actually gonna find it right here for you one sec okay i'm back my mtw have the phoenix hop unit it has a matte bull stainless steel six point zero one millimeter ultimate tight ball barrel aircraft alloy that's what it says at least maybe you can see one second let's see here maybe you can see i have no idea then we have the phoenix hop the mtw 1.0 hop up cnc arm from salient industries it has green gng matte ball bucking and i don't remember if it's flat hopped or what it actually is, but I think it's flat hop. I think I have the salient, like the same from this, like he's flat hop in it. I actually don't remember at this point. So this is a pretty expensive upgrade too. I'm gonna add it right now, boom, like to the thing, <laughs> boom. Um, so all of this obviously adds to the price of this. But this, let's say, let's say this is ideally, I'm actually gonna find out right now, one second. I, I'm actually I'm not gonna cut very much in this. I don't like it. I think it should be real Valuta. So my barrel was 700 was a was a 750 crowners $120 for the barrel Then I paid For the Phoenix hop unit. I mean I made a video about it the Phoenix hop where I talked about how I thought about it the Phoenix Hub unit is 700 kroners, which is, so that's 220 ish dollars for the upgrades plus the small upgrades inside. Let's say this costs 600, I don't remember the exact price because this is kind of old. In, da in Danish kroners, this gun costed 4,000. Well, in Danish crowners, this is very expensive in American apparently. In Danish crowners, this is 811 bucks. Um, it's 4,999, but ideally it will be way less if you are not in Europe or in Denmark. Plus this. So let's say ideally this is a thousand bucks gun. So maybe the price difference is only 600, uh, 650, 600 and 700 ish euros. Um, so yes. Then we have Then we have the the infamous Umbrella Armory guns. Um you all know you all know them by Oh is that no full auto in the building or like you know no this is full auto like you know that's 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 where you know them from or maybe Dutch the Holy Gun or like a lot of really cool airsofters who use their guns. So this has a it has the pro win hop up unit um with the inner barrel and they have a it's they have a lay they have a lalex barrel and with all the custom stuff inside with the cnc uh it's not a cnc it's a 3d printed hop arm and all kinds of stuff inside goodness so yes this was made by a professional tech like umbrella armor is professional techs which are known for being 
quite good, you could say. <laughs> well, really fucking good, actually. And this over here. This here. Let's uh, put the gun down here. Well, I've upgraded it now. Some of you might know. <laughs> Wonder what's inside, but it doesn't matter right now. This was made by a Danish tech. This has been used quite extensively. There's no... It actually looks so clean inside. I probably shot around 150,000 BBs through this. 120,000 BBs. Um, and it's it's been... It's, as you see in my videos, it's done quite freaking good for me. It's been really good. It's been good experience. I can shoot really long. Like, I can shoot abnormally long with the MTW. It's an HPA gun. I can just put up the pressure, like higher jewels, and I shoot really freaking long. Well, now it comes to a shooting test. The shooting test was kind of... Um, I mean, it, it showed you a result, at least. On over here... I'm gonna put the image of the MTW over here. I'm gonna put the image of the Crytag. As you can see on both groupings, both groupings are kinda good. One grouping has a tighter grouping than the other one. Um, the Umbrella Armory gun showed a better grouping, um, tighter grouping, and it's more consistent. My MTW has a, um, a wider spread grouping, and yeah, I mean, it's just wider spread. But also, there's a price difference between these two guns. But this doesn't mean that the Umbrella Armory is necessarily 10 million times better than the MTW, because as you can see in my videos, I am destroying people <laughs> with this gun or this gun you've seen me use both on my channel and you will see me use a bunch of different guns in the future from umbrella armory and you know maybe some really cool guns from from wolverine too <laughs> so yes i have spoken a little bit with wolverine but let's see let's see maybe one day they're interested in working with a european like me <laughs> but i think you should look at the groupings yourself and decide what you like, what, what would you prefer? If I have to choose from accuracy myself, like purely because of accuracy, I will choose the Umbrella Armory gun, 100% of the times. Now when it comes to, let's say, the weight, I like this one way more. This is pretty heavy. That's Crytex, Crytex are heavy. This feels like it's built like a mother fucking tank. Like, I have mistreated this shit so much, and it, it looks kind of new. Well, well, depends what you think new is. But this still looks really freaking good. I like the weight of it. It's 1.9 kilos without all this extra stuff on. So, yeah. It's not as long. I prefer a shorter, a shorter barrel. Also, the barrel in this is way longer. So maybe that's also something to do with the precision. The barrel in this is way shorter. The barrel in this is um, 285, and the barrel in the Crytek is, I think it's 300. Let's see here, right here. The barrel in the Crytek is 310 millimeters. So that's obviously a difference. This is R hopped, R hopped Crytek, flat hopped, um, flat hopped uh, MTW. In the future, you will see that I've upgraded this with an R hop instead because I want to do shooting tests where both has R hop inner barrels and hop up like it, like bucking like everything. So it's a more, it's the, it's the same ish kind of test because obviously a flat hop versus R hop is gonna give different results. If I think about the sound, I like the MTW way more. I love HPA and the MTW with the Inferno engine. Sounds fucking amazing. I love it. It's just like, you know, when you have on a silencer. Obviously, in the test, I didn't use a silencer because, yeah, I mean, I'm not using a silencer on this because we all know using a silencer on a AEG, no matter what you think, it does not help. I'm sorry. 
it doesn't help. It doesn't help. No matter what you say, you're wrong. It doesn't help. What is making sound on an AEG is the motor right here and the piston, you know, like <coughs> that doesn't change the sound by putting on a silencer up here. <coughs> what a silencer does is fixing the air, like the air and pressure, like blah, blah, you know, like you know how it works. So people who tell you a silencer works on AG, it doesn't work. It just looks sick. That's it. So this, a silencer works and it's an HPA. So with weight and the HPA sound, this is what I would prefer. If I'm thinking about accuracy, this is what I prefer. So I think you should make up your own mind what you like and what you prefer, what you want. Do you, for example, do you love the look of a Crytek? Then this is obviously what you would want to choose. Do you love the look of an MTW? This is obviously what you would choose. Um, so yeah, you like HPA? You like AG? This is my comparison. Comparison? So yeah. Okay guys, and women, and women, and attack helicopters, or whatever the fuck you are. Let's do this with you. Apple juice, very nice. Please, remember to like the video. Remember to subscribe. Remember to share. Like, please share this with your friends. Like, leave comments. Like, say, yo, you did this fucking wrong, you suck. Like, I like this part, you did this part good. Please leave something in the comments to start a discussion about things i'm really trying here to grow my channel it's been very freaking hard and nerve-wracking during covid because i haven't been able to film so i would really freaking appreciate if you would like subscribe and all that stuff just share it with your friends man I'm really trying here to do some cool stuff. The more subscribers I can get, the more reach I can get. And follow my Instagram, by the way. Airsoft, Cast Lab, Airsoft. Like, it's in the description. Follow it. The more reach I can get, the more cool shit I'm gonna be, be allowed and able to show you guys and compare. The more cool shit. It's good. So yeah. The more cool shit, the better. Quick teaser here, I got a gorilla. FCU incoming and a trigger board for the MTW. So we're gonna be testing that pretty soon. It's gonna be fucking cool. I'm got some some Foxia scope cam incoming. Gonna test that real soon. Those are both sponsorships, so that's gonna be really freaking cool. I contact companies that I like, and um, that's the reason why I love the MTW, why I love the Umbrella Armory, like. I like to work with things I believe in and things I want to use myself. I will never test anything on this channel that I don't want to use because that's not what I'm about. I'm purely about whatever the fuck I like. And if I'm not allowed to say whatever the fuck I want about the products, they can fuck off because that's not what we're about. We're about being honest here, truthful. So yes, enough of this rant. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Smash that like button or I will find you on the field and uh, you know what I will do? I'll put you in a video. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye.